Flying is a dream for many. Back in 1390, during the Ming Dynasty, one man decided he's going to be the world's first man in space. One who was an alchemist and the Emperor's firearms expert. He built the world's first launch vehicle, tying 47 gunpowder-filled rockets to a chair. He thought this device would carry him into the sky. Unfortunately, he died in the attempt. Six centuries later, China launched its first carrier rocket, Long March 1. It was the first of the renowned Long March family. They are now 24 types on the Long March rocket. The super heavy Long March 9 is still in development. Long March 9 may not be as powerful as NASA's retired Saturn V, but it's going to be China's only super heavy lift rocket. The pace of Long March launches has accelerated over the last half a century. It took 37 years to complete the first 100 launches. The second 100 took seven and a half years. But the next 100 launches took only four years and three months. There are four launch sites. Qiuquan Launch Center in the Northwestern Desert, which is China's first launch site. Xichang Center in the Southwestern Mountains, which saw the most liftoffs. Taiyuan Center in Northern China and Wenchang on the coast of Hainan Island in the South. Qiuquan Center has played a central role in China's manned space project. Twelve Chinese astronauts have now been to space. All of them took off from Chuchuan. Low latitude and proximity to the sea make Wenchang the best site for launching new generation heavy lift rockets with environmental friendly fuel. Long March 5 and Long March 7 both made their debut there. Wenchang also launched China's first Mars mission, Tianwen 1, and Chang'e 5 that brought moon samples back to the Earth. Project 921's goal is to build a space station. Three rockets are needed for this mission. One to ferry astronauts, the other for heavy units, and the third for supplies. Or more explicitly, the rockets would carry the Shenzhou craft, the core module, and space lamps and the cargo ship. Those launch vehicles have to be extremely safe, reliable, and economical. These tasks are carried out by the Long March 2F, the Long March 5B, and the Long March 7. The Long March 2F is China's only human-rated launch vehicle to put people in space. From its maiden flight in 1999, it has held a perfect safety record. The Long March 7, a medium-lift launch vehicle, delivers supplies and will carry a future generation of spacecraft. Garnering the nickname of Fat Five from Chinese space enthusiasts, the Long March 5 is a giant rocket and the most powerful in the Long March family. With a thrust power of over 1,000 tons, it's an impressive feat of space engineering. It can put a 25 tons payload into low Earth orbit. The space station, China's lunar probe and its Mars mission depend on the Long March 5, one of the world's most powerful rockets. It took 14 years for Long March 5 d to make its maiden flight, but it put China among the world's most powerful launch vehicle makers.